who come to us with questions. Who will I be? Who will I be? How will I know? How will I know? What will come and when? What will come and when? As we teach you tonight, as we teach you tonight, we prepare you, we prepare you for the next step, for the next step on this journey, on this journey, which is the assimilation, which is the assimilation of the monad, of the monad or the divine self, or the divine self in a life that you are currently living, in the life that you are currently living. What does it mean to walk? What does it mean to walk on this plane, on this plane, to incarnate in this plane, to incarnate? in this plane, in this plane, as the monadic light, as the monadic light, or the divine light, or the divine light that has come as each of you, that has come as each of you in a seeking restoration, and is seeking restoration, amplification, amplification, and dominion, and dominion, as and through you, as and through you. Now, the idea of this to some, now, the idea of this to some seems to speak to an idea, seems to speak to an idea of submission, of submission. I will not get what I want. I will not get what I want. I'm being asked I am, I am asked to become something other than I am, but that is not this teaching, but that is not this teaching. In fact, what the monad is, in fact, what the monad is, or the Christ within, if you prefer, or the Christ within, if you prefer, or the divine light, if you wish, or the divine light, if you wish, that is in each human being, that is in each human being, is the aspect of the creator, is the aspect of the creator that seeks to know itself through you, that seeks to know itself through you, and this aspect of you, and this aspect of you loves you deeply, loves you deeply, is isn't throwing you away, isn't throwing you away, isn't disassembling you, isn't disassembling you for no reason, for no reason. What in fact happens in this class, what in fact happens in this class as we intend to teach you, is we intend to teach you how to become who you are, how to become who you are in a way that you may know, in a way that you may know. And we will use the word assimilation and we will use the word assimilation in a way of being, a new way of being in the life you've just grown in, in the life you have chosen to incarnate in. Indeed, it comes at the cost of the old. Indeed, it comes at the cost of the old, but it also brings you, but it also brings you a love, a love that you will not be able to discount, that you will not be able to discount a way of expressing, a way of expressing as love, as love you will not be able to deny, that you will not be able to deny. Now, the forthright teaching, now the forthright teaching of this evening, of this evening is agreement, is agreement. If we had a class for this, and if we had a class for this and this alone and this alone we could teach you for a year on agreement we could teach you for a year on agreement when we teach agreement when we teach agreement we teach accord we teach accord vibrational accord vibrational accord with the divine will with the divine will claiming the will claiming the will agreeing to the will agreeing to the world that you've been gifted with that you have been gifted with it is the meeting of will it is the meeting of will what you might call the small self what you might call the small all self and true self and true self in tandem, in tandem that allows this journey to truly commence, that allows this journey to truly commence. You see your will is sacred. You see your will is sacred and you have every opportunity to use it and you have every opportunity to use but the programming you received, but the programming you've received, the false identification, the false identification you have held to who and what you are, to who and what you are, have confused choice, have confused choice. You think so much, you think so much about what you should be, about what you should be, should have, should have, should gain, should gain, should know, should know that you miss the moment of beauty, that you miss the moment of beauty that you currently stand in, that you currently stand in. We must say to you, and we must say to you, it is in this moment of beauty, it is in this moment of beauty that all things that we don't that all things may be known. Now, when we teach you, now, when we teach you, we teach you in octaves, we teach you in octaves, in musical tone, in musical tone. We have said this many times. We have said this many times, but your coherence, but your coherence, agreement to, agreement to the manifest world, the manifest world, which you see and experience, which is everything you see and experience is known through choice, is known through choice and alignment and alignment to what you have inherited, to what you have inherited inherited the manifest world you know the manifest world that you know is all in vibration or sound is all in vibration or sound and you are in alignment and you are in alignment accord accord or agreement or agreement to everything you see at that level to everything you see at that level it is less so you're creating everything it is less so that you are creating everything it is more so it is more so that you are condoning that you are condoning supporting supporting and aligning to the known and aligning 
aligning to the known and an expectation in an expectation that's what should be that that is what should be now when you lift now when you lift in your vibrational field in your vibrational field when you claim yourself when you claim yourself as you truly are as you truly are which is as the true self which is as the true self the expression of monad the expression of monad in dominion in dominion you lift in field and frequency you lift in field and frequency and tone and tone to what we call the upper room to what we call the upper room all the upper room is all the upper room is is the octave is the octave that exists simultaneously yours, that exists simultaneously to yours in a higher relationship in a higher relationship to truth to truth and to love and to love if you understand if you understand a scale that is scale comprised of notes comprised of notes low and high low and high can sing itself can sing itself play itself play itself in any song in any song you can also understand you can also understand that those same notes exist that those same notes exist in an upper key in an upper key in a higher accord in a higher accord a c c o r d a c c o r d a c h o r d a c h o r d as in piano as in a piano now some of you say now some of you say well i understand the concept well i understand the concept but not the experience but not the experience this experience is now available this experience is now available to the student who wishes it to the student who wishes it but maintaining the upper room but maintaining the upper room or this level of tone or this level of tone comes at great cost comes at great cost which is the self which is the self that seeks to know itself through separation that seeks to know itself through separation that seeks to damn another that seeks to damn another that feels he must be right that feels he must be right she must be right she must be right and have her way and have her way the true self as you the true self as you has nothing to prove has nothing to prove he knows who he is he knows who he is she knows who she is she knows who she is how she serves how she serves and how she serves and how she serves is in this expression is in this expression the tonality of the one the tonality of the one who was aligned at this level who has aligned at this level claims all she encounters claims all she encounters in like agreement in like agreement or like accord or like accord she becomes the alchemist she becomes the alchemist the one who lay the ladder the one who may lift matter to a new creation to a new creation now to understand what this means now to understand what this means is to understand is to understand that everything you see before you that everything you see before you is vibration is vibration is tone is tone any vibration and any vibration can take another form can take another another form any tone can be sung and any tone can be sung in a higher when in a higher way when you understand when you understand finally finally that there is one note playing that there is one note playing that precedes all manifestation that precedes all manifestation and we'll call this the word and we will call this the word and the articulation word and the articulation of the word is all things you see is all things you see and can even imagine and can even imagine you can simply understand you can simply understand that the restoration that the restoration to the true nature anything to the true nature of anything to grant claim it to reclaim it as word as word is to re-know it and to lift it is to re-know it to lift it and to lift it to the higher vibrational field to the higher vibrational field this is how the kingdom is born this is how the kingdom is born on this plane on this plane through the recognition through the recognition and reclamation and reclamation of the divine of the divine that is inherent in all things that is inherent in all things now understand this now understand this inherent means inborn inherent means inborn in agreement to in agreement to it is of it is of all things of it is of all things the divine self the divine self that you are that you are knows itself in union knows itself in union with the source of all things with the source of all things it doesn't agree to separation it doesn't agree to separation separations which we're going to do separation has been 
chosen to learn through it is what you claimed. It is what you claimed in this agreement, in this agreement to incarnate on this plane, to incarnate on this plane with separation. But separation is not the basis of reality, is not the basis of reality. It's a choice humanity made. It's a choice humanity made to learn in isolation, to learn in isolation, to comprehend itself, to comprehend itself in separation, in separation. This was chosen. This was chosen. Is now about to be renowned, and it is now about to be renowned. If you understand very simply, if you understand very simply that the divine self as you, that the divine self as you knows its sacredness, knows its sacredness, and consequently knows sacredness in all things, and consequently knows the sacredness in all things. You can understand. You can understand that the realization of the monad, that the realization of the monad, the sacred self, if you wish, the sacred self, if you wish, the realization of it, the realization of it, which is the knowing of expression, which is the knowing of it in expression, claims the sacredness, claims the sacredness in all it encounters, in all it encounters. Now, some of you think, now some of you think that to call something sacred, that to call something sacred is to make it beautiful, is to make it beautiful, a nice way of describing something, a nice way of describing something, but to know something is very good. But to know something as sacred, to know the divinity of it, is to know the divinity of it. And in knowing you realize, and in knowing you realize when a thing is realized as sacred, when a thing is realized as sacred, when, known as sacred, when a being is known as sacred, is transformed, it is transformed, is lifted in field and form, it is lifted in field and form. And in fact, it's restored, and in fact, it is restored to its organic nature, to its organic nature, its first essence. Is its first essence. Now the restoration. Now the restoration of an individual, of an individual, as has been taught in all our texts, has been taught in all our texts. And as we continue these teachings, and as we continue these teachings in new texts, in new texts, we intend to reclaim humanity. We intend to reclaim humanity. Reclaim humanity as what it was intended to be, as what it was intended to be, an expression of the divine, an expression of the divine that operates in knowing that operates in knowing and in a gift and in a gift to all things, to all things. What this means very simply, what this means very simply is that you are aligned, is that you are aligned to your true essence, to your true essence and the lives you live. And the lives you live becomes expressions of this, become expressions of this, to become the expression of this, to become the expression of this is to be renown, is to be renown in a higher amplitude or tone, in a higher amplitude or tone as one is known, as one is known in intonation and in intonation at this level. At this level, one becomes the doorway. One becomes the doorway, the pathway, the pathway, the portal to, the portal to what we call the upper room, what we call the upper room, which is the kingdom, which is the kingdom when fully realized when fully realized. Now, if you think of the upper room, now, if you think of the upper room as where you land, as where you land, the place of arrival, the place of arrival to new consciousness, to new consciousness, you can also understand, you can also understand that your assimilation, that your assimilation within the upper room, within the upper room holds new expression, holds new expression and new experience and new experience or vibrational being your vibrational being once accustomed to this level once accustomed to this level becomes amplified becomes amplified and each thought you hold and each thought you hold becomes the light in progression becomes the light in progression in progression, in agreement to what is, in agreement to what is, in fact, what it means. In fact, what it means is that thought itself, is that thought itself becomes as of God, becomes as of God, and the creative self you hold, and the creative self you hold, the aspect of self, the aspect of self that knows all things as of God, that knows all things as of God can recreate, can recreate or remanifest, or remanifest through thought, through thought, what expresses on this plane, what expresses on this plane. Now thought is misunderstood. Now thought is misunderstood. You think you think a thought. You think you think a thought and thinking itself and thinking itself is an act you engage in, is an act you engage in. In fact, that is not true. In fact, that is not true. A thought is an expression. A thought is an expression, an idea, an idea being made, being made known 
being made known is less something done. It is less something done, a thought thunk, a thought thunk than a thought expressed, than a thought expressed, an idea expressed, an idea expressed, every idea expressed, every idea expressed lives on eternity, lives on in eternity. Once a thought is expressed, once a thought is expressed, it has amplitude, it has amplitude and finds a place and finds a place to be realized, to be realized. You don't comprehend this. You don't comprehend this. He certainly does not. He certainly does not. But there are aspects of self. But there are aspects of self that you have wrought through imagination, that you have wrought through imagination that exist independently of you, that exist independently of you, and the cascade of ideas, and the cascade of ideas in any given day, in any given day, surrounds the participant of the ideas, surrounds the participant to the ideas. Imagine a ball, imagine a ball, a reflecting ball, a reflecting ball covered with fragments of glass, covered with fragments of glass, or mirror if you wish, or mirror if you wish. This reflecting light, this reflecting light beams into all directions, beams into all directions, and every idea ever thought, and every idea ever thought is participatory, is participatory to the construct you see, to the construct you see that you know of as world, that you know of as world, but there are many worlds to know, but there are many worlds to know, and many that you actually experience, and many that you actually experience while in the singular incarnation, while in a singular incarnation. You believe you die, you believe you die and have other experience and have other experience. But as we said prior, but as we said prior, there are aspects of an individual, there are aspects of any individual that operate autonomously, that operate autonomously, not so much from those, not so much from the host, but from the idea, but from the idea that was now then born, that was now then born into manifestation, into manifestation. Some of you think, some of you think that the idea of self, that the idea of self is the final thing, is the final thing that needs to be renown, that needs to be renown to manifest as the true self, to manifest as the true self. My idea of Harry is, my idea of who Harry is, who Josephine is, who Josephine is. Is, is what needs to be renowned, is what needs to be renown. So I may be incarnated, so I may be incarnated as the divine self, as the divine self. In fact, the final choice, in fact, the final choice is to realize that matter, is to realize that matter is thought, is thought, and nothing more, and nothing more. All matter is, all matter is, is form, is form known in density, known in density that is claimed in thought, that is claimed in thought, first wrought in thought, first wrought in thought. And once this is understood, and once this is understood, even the idea of self, even the idea of self becomes thought, becomes thought, the first thought, the first thought, primordial thought, primordial thought, the idea of being, the idea of being in the beginning was the word, in the beginning was the word. Now, some of you say, now some of you say, well, this is rather interesting. Well, this is rather interesting. We haven't heard them talk about this prior. We haven't heard them talk about this prior, but because you are alchemists, but because you are alchemists, whether or not you've agreed to this, whether or not you've agreed to this because you are in choice, because you are in choice, or whether or not you agree to that, whether or not you agree to that, you are participatory, you are participatory to the creation you see before you, to the creation you see before you, and the creation you see before you. And the creation you see before you is indeed your idea of reality, is indeed your idea of reality, what it means to be, what it means to be in co-resonance with, in co-resonance with, agreement with, agreement with the manifestation, the manifestation of prior thought, of prior thought, everything you see before you. Everything you see before you, the manifestation, of, the manifestation of thought is actually recreated by you, is actually recreated by you through your presence, through your presence. You comprehend reality. You comprehend reality in some ways as static, as some ways as static. That is where the mountain is. That is where the mountain is. That was my childhood home. That was my childhood home. But these things exist primarily. But these things exist primarily in your accordance, in your accordance in the mind, in the mind that reclaims all things, that reclaims all things as manifest, 
as manifest through your knowing of them, through your knowing of them. Now we'll explain this for Paul who's confused. And we'll explain this for Paul who is confused. It's not so much, it is not so much that you are summoning things into being, that you are summoning things into being. But Paul asks, but Paul asks, well, if I turn my back, well, if I turn my back is what was behind me a moment ago, is what was behind me a moment ago, no longer there, no longer there. In fact, it is not so. In fact, that is so, that is so, but not in the way you understand it, but not in the way you understand it. You see the template of reality. You see the template of reality that you've all been agreeing to, that you have all been agreeing to through idea, through idea is born in a mass belief, is born in a mass belief in the solidity of matter, in the solidity of matter, which creates the density, which creates the density that you experience on this plane, that you experience on this plane when you lift in vibration. When you lift in vibration, what you begin to see, what you begin to see is the transient nature, is the transient nature of reality, of reality and manifestation itself. And manifestation itself can be reclaimed, renowned, can be reclaimed, renowned in the upper room, in the upper room beyond what it was conceived of, beyond what it was initially conceived as an idea of something you see, an idea of something you see, claim something in form, claim something in form, but something in form, but something in form may be reclaimed, renowned, may be reclaimed, renowned in the upper room, in the upper room in a reconception, in a reconception of the plane that you express in today. Now the plane that you express in today is riddled in fear, is riddled in fear. The structures you see before you, the structures you see before you, economic systems, economic systems, ideas of gender even, ideas of gender even are wrought in fear, are wrought in fear and heretical, and other word heretical, heretical, heretical ideas, ideas which simply means, which simply means they hold within them, they hold within them the denial of the divine, the denial of the divine. As we have said prior, as we have said prior, the denial of the divine, the denial of the divine is the only feat, is the only feat humanity needs to re-know itself through. Humanity needs to re-know itself through the denial of the divine. The denial of the divine is the only problem you have or challenge you truly face or challenge you truly face when you comprehend the divine. When you comprehend the divine as all things, as all things, all things are of God, all things are of God, and then may be renowned, and then may be renowned and lifted, and lifted to what we call the upper room, to what we call the upper room by the one who knows who she is, by the one who knows who she is, the idea of self even, the idea of self even less so renown, less so renown than rearticulated, than rearticulated the divine that has become as you, the divine that has become as you. Now Paul asks us to return. Now Paul asks us to return to an idea. He is still struggling. He is still tr- struggling. But if I turn my back, but if I turn my back, is what was behind my back no there? Is what was behind my back no longer there? Not as you understand it. Not as you understand and is not held in conscious. Anything that is not held in consciousness is held of idea is held at the level of idea, the permanence of vibration, the permanence of vibration, what you believe to be permanent, or what you believe to be permanent, simply a projection, is simply a projection. There is a manifest world. There is a manifest world that is always operative, that is always operative, but is shared by many, but it is shared by many. So it is the agreement of the template. So it is the agreement to the template of reality, of reality is in fact constant, that is in fact constant, so you understand what was behind you. You are operating in tandem with it because you are operating in tandem with it. We're not saying it's disappeared. We are not saying it has disappeared. We are saying your relationship to it. We are saying your relationship to it has been transformed, has been transformed through this agreement. Through this agreement, when I turn my back, when I turn my back, what was there will be there. What was there will be there. Once you truly understand, once you truly understand that thought itself, that thought itself is creative at a level, is creative at the level of what you would know of as physics 
as what you would know of as physics or the manifestation or the, or the manifestation of reality. You'll begin to see, you will begin to see the subjective level, the subjective level of the individual's experience, of the individual's experience. Now the collective subjectivity and how the collective subjectivity that should be there because it was, this should be there because it was, can be renowned, can be renowned from what we call the upper room from what we call the upper room. Paul is disturbed by this teaching. Paul is disturbed by this teaching. We're entering new ground. We are entering new ground, but it's time for this. But it is time for this. We have taught the kingdom. We have taught the kingdom. We have not taught the rules of manifestation. We have not taught the rules of manifestation in a way that you would be comfortable with, in a way that you would be comfortable with because so many of you, because so many of you are still seeking to get what you want, are still seeking to get what you want because you think that that is why you're here, because you think that is why you are here when you truly understand who and what you are. When you truly understand who and what you are, the divine expressed as form, the divine expressed as form in a field of agreement, in a field of agreement that all of you, that all are contributing to, you become a light, you become the light that illumines the field, that illumines the field when the field is illumined, when the field is illumined, the structure of the field is illumined, the structure of the field is exposed and the structure of the field is exposed. And the structure of the field, in this case, the infrastructure of reality, the infrastructure of reality is thought, is thought, which is God finally, which is God finally in expression, in expression. This explains something to Paul. This explains something to Paul. So God is not a benevolent being. So God is not a benevolent being. God is all things. God is all things, but you comprehend him through thought, but you comprehend him through thought, her through thought, her through thought, it through thought, it through thought, because that is how you support, because that is how you support realization, realization. God is all things has been this teaching. God as all things has been this teaching for some time, for some time, but you don't understand, but you don't understand what the structure of reality is, what the structure of reality is, thought and God, thought and God in a unified state, in a unified state, because God is all things, because God is all things, God is all things created, God is all things created, but because God is all things created, but because God is all things created, and you are the creator, and you are the creator in tandem with God, in tandem with God, much of what you have claimed, much of what you have claimed through lower vibrational agreement, through lower vibrational agreement, and you have inherited and you've inherited is riddled with fear, is riddled with fear, which is simply the denial of the divine, which is simply the denial of the divine. So while you've claimed God, so while you've claimed God as the creator of anything who can create anything, you've created war, you have created war, you've created damnation, you have created damnation, you live with the results of these things, and you live with the results of these things in your coherent field, in your coherent field, realization of matter realization of the monad of the monad is a reclamation of being is a reclamation of being is a reclaimed being and it is the reclaimed being who reclaims all encounter who reclaims all encountered in physical form in physical form because the idea you become because the idea you become is as god is as god of god of God, not separate from God, not separate from God, not a specific expression, not a specific expression unique to you, unique to you, but an emblemization, but an emblemization, a fingerprint if you prefer, a fingerprint if you prefer that is of the whole, that is of the whole, the idea for some of you. The idea for some of you that you are the solitary creator, that you are the solitary creator of your universe, of your universe is actually blasphemous, is actually blasphemous. We must tell you why. And we must tell you why to exclude yourself, to exclude yourself from God as all things, from God as all things, is to make yourself mythic, is to make yourself mythic in experience of reality, in an experience of reality, that is completely solitary 
if you understood, if you understood that every breath you take, that every breath you take is God breathing, is God breathing, and God itself is the air breathed, and God is itself the air breathed, the aroma of the sky, the aroma of the sky and the field, and the field and everything you could encounter, and everything that you could encounter, you would know all things, you would know all things as in union, as in union, we've often said, we have often said, you cannot be the light, you cannot be the light and hold another in darkness, and hold another in darkness, which simply means, which simply means you cannot be the light, you cannot be the light, exclude the light, and exclude the light that must be there, that must be there in spite of any appearance contrary to it, in spite of any appearance contrary to it. Paul is growing tired from the teaching, Paul is growing tired from the teaching. We will publish this teaching. We will publish this teaching. This is not in a text. This is not in a text, but it will be the basis. But it will be the basis for what we'll take you in our next book. But it will be our basis for what we'll take you in our next book, The Infrastructure of Reality. The Infrastructure of Reality, Thought and God, Thought and God would be the title of this lecture, would be the title of this lecture. We are pleased to offer it to you. We are pleased to offer it to you, and we'll continue in the coming weeks, and we will continue in the coming weeks. We wish to attune you. We wish to attune you before we say goodnight, before we say goodnight and take the questions that may follow, and take the questions that may follow what an attunement is. What an attunement is, is energetic accord, is energetic accord through spoken language, through spoken language, through the intent the language holds, through the intent the language holds, through the amplitude, through the amplitude of the vibrational field, of the vibrational field that is sung into being, as it is sung into a new way of being, into a new way of being. You may repeat this after us if you wish. You may repeat this after us if you wish. I'm with my body. I am word through my body. Word, I am word. I am word through my vibration. Word, I am word. I am word through my knowing of myself as word. Now you may say this. Now you may say this. I know who I am in truth. I know what I am in truth. I know how I serve in truth. I am free, I am free, I am free. I am free. I am free. I am free. We sing our songs for you. We sing your songs for you so that you may learn the words as you become a chorus. As you become a chorus, you invite the world to sing with you. You invite the world to sing with you. And together we sing. And together we sing the birth of the new, the birth of the new, the new chapter, the new chapter, the new era, the new era, the new equivalency, the new equivalency, the agreement to God, the agreement to God or the source of all things or the source of all things as here, as here, as what it is, as what it is, as who it is, as who it is, as all things that could ever be, as all things that could ever be. Thank you and good night. Thank you and good night, period, 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 period.